firmly believe that our diet had absolutely zero to do with our acne, but recently it has actually been disproven and shown that food actually does have an impact on acne. Now, of course, acne is multifactored, so food is not the only thing that plays in here. Hormones and regular habits in your life, your lifestyle, the things that you do, all play an important role in your acne, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't focus on our food. Now let's get into this top 10 list. Now number one, the most important thing that you can include in your diet to improve your acne are dark green, cruciferous vegetables. Now I know you knew this was coming, but broccoli, kale, spinach, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, Things that are dark green and bitter are the best ones, but really any and all vegetables do help. So I do suggest trying to get a lot of servings, you know, up to 10 to 15 servings a day that definitely improved my acne a lot. And the reason why is because it's packed with vitamins and minerals, which you already know. It's also got prebiotic fibers, which are really good for you, but it's also got things like polyphenols and phytonutrients, which are exclusively only found in vegetables and fruits. So it's important to get those in because those things definitely improve our health and also our acne. Now, Number two, when it comes to breakfast, a lot of us like to lean towards the sugary cereals, the waffles, the pancakes, or the bacon, or the eggs, things that are high in sugar, high in fats. But one of the best foods that you can eat for breakfast is oatmeal. And now I mean when oatmeal is a great thing to have in the morning because it is a low glycemic food, which means that it turns into blood sugar very slowly. This is important because when you raise your blood sugar quickly, when you eat things that are high glycemic, it increases something in your body called mTORC, and mTORC signals your body to create more sebum fluid, more oil on your face, which produces more acne. Now, of course, the type of oatmeal that you eat is very important, so I wouldn't go get instant sugar, you know, maple sugar, oats, or, you know, something that already includes 25 grams of sugar. If you just get normal, old-fashioned steel-cut oats, you put them in either some water or some nut milk, and then you microwave it for a minute or two, that is one of the best ways you can eat. And you can also add some other flavors by putting some chopped fruits in there, some cocoa, some cinnamon. If you want to put some vegan protein powder or something like that in there, that's a perfect breakfast for the morning. Okay, number three. Now it's later in the day, you're ready to eat your next meal. You, of course, all meals should be made up of some protein, some fats, and carbs. What do you wanna eat for your carb source? Well, something that's really good is brown rice or quinoa. And the reason why is, again, these are low glycemic index carbohydrate sources. These are also packed with a lot of great prebiotic fibers, which is really good for your gut bacteria. So this would be a good part of your three-part meal. You know what I mean? You could do this with some beans and maybe some avocado or some nuts and seeds, but brown rice and quinoa are a great food. All right, I had to move positions because the sun came out, but number four is sweet potatoes. And I say this specifically because a lot of people like potatoes. I love them, but of potatoes, the best potato is sweet potato. It has the lowest glycemic index and also a little fun tip though is that you don't have to you know not have any potatoes except for sweet potatoes if you do have russet potatoes or baby creamer potatoes ones that are a little bit higher in glycemic index if you mix them with fats and proteins it actually brings down the glycemic of the whole meal which means that it'll turn into blood sugar more slowly so just make sure that when you are having carbs if you mix them with proteins and fats it will make them digest slower which is good for you now number five beans lentils chickpeas is a great source of protein, which is great because we obviously do want protein throughout the day, and it's also a great form of fiber. And again, I keep mentioning prebiotic fibers, but the reason that I mention this is because plant-based prebiotic fibers are great for your gut health. It feeds the good bacteria in your gut. I have a whole video about something called leaky gut syndrome, which is where your bad bacteria in your gut get bigger and stronger than your good bacteria, and when it becomes outnumbered like that, it can create small little holes in your gut, and that can wreak havoc on your acne. I'll put a card up on the screen where you guys can watch the video about leaky gut syndrome. But it is important to feed those good bacteria, basically give them shields and swords in the fight against the bad bacteria. Now number six, a great food to eat is whole wheat spaghetti instead of regular white spaghetti. And the reason is because again, this has a much lower glycemic index rating, turns into blood sugar slowly. It's also packed with good fibers, has great amount of protein in it. If you wanna add some more protein into it, this is kinda weird, but you can actually add beans like black beans or pinto beans to your pasta and it ups the protein ups the fiber which is really good for you now number seven this one I have been waiting to get to non dairy milk whether that be cashew milk almond milk or soy milk it doesn't matter but dairy milk is really bad for your acne it causes lots of people acne especially myself it causes all of my cystic acne and the reason why is because dairy increases mTORC in your body 
through a couple different mechanisms, but because there's lactose in it and there's also a high amount of an amino acid in it called leucine. So if you can get away from those things, it's gonna be really good for you. So that being said, you wanna make sure that you're getting no dairy in any sources, whether that be milk, cheese, any products that you're eating, get rid of it entirely and replace it with a plant-based alternative. But with soy milk specifically, a lot of people, depending on who you are, everyone has different food allergies and different reactions to foods. Some people have issues with soy. So this is something that you'll have to figure out yourself by doing an elimination diet, basically meaning taking soy out of your diet entirely for a week and seeing if your acne improves, or putting soy into your diet for a week and seeing if it gets worse. And if not, then you're totally cool with soy, and soy is my favorite type of milk. For me, I have no issues with soy, but I just thought I would mention that. Now, number eight. This one is a really good tip that I bet you not a lot of people know, pickled vegetables. So this will be things like pickled ginger or sauerkraut or pickled pickles or pickled really anything. And the reason why is because when you pickle foods, you actually cause a fermentation process, which makes it a good area for good bacteria to grow. So this is a good way to introduce good bacteria to your gut is by eating some of these pickled foods. Now that brings us to number nine, which is kombucha and water kefir. This is another really good source of good bacteria and good bacteria is so important. I'm telling you, for your acne, it's such a good thing. For me, I had a lot of bad acne because I was feeding the bad bacteria by having like seriously 70 servings of Splenda every single week, like uh, artificial sweeteners. And I just wasn't treating my body well, wasn't having a lot of vegetables and a lot of good things that I should be having. Now you can pick up kombucha pretty much anywhere these days, but I really like the brand Health Aid, which is really good as an actual kombucha. And then there's something called Water Kefir, which is basically kombucha, but slightly different. And a brand called Kevita makes that, and that is really, really good. It's very tasty. Kind of just tastes like a, you know, like a sparkling, uh, like kind of like a soda, but like a, uh, like a fruity, healthy soda. Now number 10, to round this out, fruits are actually really good for your acne. Now this might sound crazy because a lot of people think, you know, fruits have a lot of sugar, but they're actually really good for you. Now specifically, you can go for the lower glycemic index fruits. So that would be things like bananas, peaches, pears, apples, cherries, plums, things like that. But really all fruits are good for you. And fruits actually don't turn into blood sugar in the same way that, for example, like a candy does. Because fruits have fructose in them, which has to be broken down in your liver. Whereas normal like table sugar, sucrose or glucose candies immediately can turn into blood sugar, which raises your blood sugar really quickly. Also, fruits are paired with fibers, which helps slow it down. And also, again, you are getting polyphenols and phytonutrients and vitamins and minerals. And it's important to mention that because a lot of people are deficient in vitamins and minerals, a lot of different ones, because a lot of us don't get it through our diet. A lot of us don't take supplements, so we are missing certain ones. There are certain vitamins and minerals that actually improve your acne when you are low in them. And so when you start to introduce those into your diet, you can actually see a massive improvement in your acne. Just a choice few would be like B vitamins, iron, magnesium. There's all sorts of different things that are really important to get in your diet. So do not neglect your fruits and your vegetable. And with that, my friends, that brings us to the end of the top 10 best foods that you can eat for your acne. Now, that's not to say that these are the only foods that you should ever eat, but these are just the ones that are the best and can really improve your acne. And I personally have seen improvements in my acne after introducing these foods to my diet. So I did want to get these out to you guys. Make sure that you bookmark this video so you can come back to it and kind of remember these foods when you go grocery shopping. But also remember, it's really important to make sure that you are not having dairy. It's a huge cause of acne. Also, high sugar foods foods, high fat foods, alcohol, artificial sweeteners, coloring, preservatives, all those things can cause acne themselves. Make sure you check out the other videos on my channel because I cover a lot of this in a lot of my different videos, but I hope that this was helpful. If you have foods that have improved your acne, absolutely leave them in the comments below because we all like to scroll the comments when we watch videos, and let's not lie. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give a big old thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see me make on this channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, you are not alone, you are beautiful, and you're part of Team Acne.